what's the cathode production? Because that's maybe just like a battery primer 101 of like, what is the cathode? And, you know, why would Tesla get into that as well? There's a few different facets to that. There's, and this goes all the way back through the supply chain to how you mine the material. Because when you mine these nickel materials, when you mine lithium, it produces certain types of end products depending on which process you use. If you design your process to consume materials that are easier and cheaper to produce, then uh, it gives you a cost advantage there. And then you can also build your cathode production system um, in a simplified way to make it even cheaper beyond that. A good example of this is Elon was talking about they dig the ditch, they refill the dig, ditch, etc. Yeah, I love that analogy, yeah. And what's happening there is a lot of these mines will pull a, a chemical out of the material, uh, they'll uh, convert it to a sulfate product, and that, that's what was available on the product for, or that was what was available on the market for uh, cathode producers. When you receive that sulfate product as a cathode producer, you then have to convert it back into something else in order to make the cathode material. So why don't we just take those extra steps out? And the way you do that is, you know, get the miners to produce the correct material and then design the flow sheet in your cathode to um, use that, that same material. So it's like, Dude. <clears throat> Yeah, it's like if you have a computer, like you have two computers and you want to hook them up together, it's like adding an adapter on this end and adding an adapter on this end to get those two computers to work together. Why don't you just d design a common cable, a common interface where those two computers are, you know, basically speaking yep. the same language? Yeah. I'm like freaking out because I'm. this is clicking with when I got the after the tour, I got to like ask Drew a couple questions and they were talking about like, um, the, the innovations on this. And it was like, well, the, imagine if you like bottled a bottle of water and then like you put it in a bottle, sealed it, put all this effort to put it in the bottle, shipped it around the world. And then they open the bottle and use it instead of just having a pipe that just sends the water. And so by vertically integrating, they're like, it's, it's like all these, it was like the wrong processes because the organization's groups were in like these buckets and they were just moving to one bucket, another, like all these different organizations, super archaic. Nobody was thinking from a first principles approach. And so it seems like almost just this like kind of process innovation was like half of the breakthrough on the cathode thing. And then the, the part that I love also is it's not in China. Everything else was in China. Like you're sending this thing to, to go get process in China and then shipping it back. And it's like, wow, if we can just do it in the US and save that shipping time and cost, that seems like that's a huge win there too. And so it's so like unpacking this is so, so fascinating. Yeah, yeah, there's uh... <laughs> The current battery industry is the ugly baby of a lot of industries that uh, found ways to work together, but it wasn't designed from the beginning. It wasn't designed from the beginning to be thought of as an end-to-end -end process, and that's what Tesla is doing. Because they have this extremely wide footprint spanning the entire uh, lithium mine to battery line, they can uh, look at the whole process and go, oh God, this is stupid, this is stupid, this is stupid. Let's smooth this all out. And what I was saying about, uh, you know, those mined resources that are going into batteries, if they can switch the type of nickel that they're being used, that alone can reduce the cost of their raw materials for nickel by something like 30% just by using a cheaper nickel. Uh, they're buying a more expensive nickel that they didn't even need in the first place and converting it back into something else uh, to create a finished product. Wow.